When we left that day for some place in the distance called Los Angeles, we left a lot more than a sheep ranch in Wyoming. We left the tire swing Dad had hung in the front yard the summer before he died. We left the geraniums Mom had planted in old Lady Heller's pots. We left home. Dad had always said, it's not where you are that's important, but who you are. But then Dad had no way of knowing just how much we left behind. The movers should be here with the rest of the stuff in a few days. So, how does everybody like their new home? Sure not what I expected. I don't think my lamb's gonna like it here. It'll be okay. We'll just have to pitch in and make the best of it. We didn't get as much as I had hoped for the farm. So we'll just have to work together to make ends meet. Maybe a while before I get my teaching credentials. After school tomorrow night, I'll... Go looking for a job. Me too. Me too. <laughs> well, speaking of school, it's been a long day. Let's have our family prayers and say good night.
late. I've got to go to class. Brooke, a few more weeks till graduation. What can they do? I want to keep my grade point up, even if you don't. Hey, listen, you going to the beach this afternoon? Why? What's happening? You'll see. Come on, I'm walking to class. Teacher Day will be this Friday. All students are urged to conduct themselves in a manner befitting the dignity of this high school. Hey, man, what is conduct befitting the dignity of this high school? What is that? Don't burp in the halls, man. <laughs> all right, all right, students, settle down. Now let's get on with our work. Will you please turn to page 44 of the Scientific American? Is this it? Yes, and if you don't have a copy, will you share with somebody nearby? And Rudolph, if you'll read the first paragraph, please. Hey, who's the dude in the cowboy suit? Excuse me, ma'am, are you Mrs. Pinkle? Hey, dude, I'm sorry, but you got the wrong place. There ain't no Mrs. or ma'ams around here for about 200 miles. <laughs> Where are you from? Wyoming, Lincoln County, ma'am. We're ranchers. How interesting. You must raise wheat, of course. No wheat, ma'am. We raise sheep. <laughs> I think that we've heard quite enough from you, Clyde Turner. I insist that you leave the class immediately. You want me to take my books? Well, it would be the first time. <laughs> hey. Keep working on that, and I can get 80 cents a pound for you in Wyoming. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> Oh, hey, look at this. Check it out. She's a sophomore? Woo! Ow! <laughs> There ain't no sophomore body. Who is she? I don't know. What do I look like? The welcome wagon, huh? No, an animal. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Oh, my baby. Hey, Dina. Hi. Hi, Stanley. What you got there? These are frogs for my experiment. He's going to give him a big kiss and turn into a handsome prince, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My scooter. Oh, I should have known you, dork. Why did you run into that piece of junk instead of my van? Right you better hope that thing's insured. Hey, it wasn't his fault. Hey, keep your nose out of it, farm person. I don't believe this. I can drive you home. You want to ride? Yeah, Beaner. Looks like you found a good friend. He's a dork just like you. You can help me with this thing. Can you believe this? Clyde, that new boy was right. It wasn't Beaner's fault. Hey, girl, what's with the big defense of some dork that nearly wiped out my whole van? You know how long it took me to get this thing looking like this? Come on, get it. Come on. I'm riding home with some friends. No, you're not. You're riding home with me. Is it ruined? Are you going to be able to fix it? The egg envelopes are all broken up. They won't hatch now. Well, what is it? A biology assignment or what? It was for the science scholarship competition for Stanford. I've been working on it for over a year. A year? Well, that's amazing. Well, how'd you get interested in frogs? 
because of the mice. I won the science fair last year with the X-ray mutation of mice fetuses and because of the unique cell regenerative capacities of amphibious reptiles. For your scholarship, this does in some headway. What's the matter? He's gone. Buster's gone. The big frog. I thought he was in with the Xenobus, but... Well, are you sure you had him? He's the heart of the whole experiment. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, you want to go back and look? No, he'd be gone. Come on, I'll help you with your scooter. Lemon crate. <laughs> Just about gave up on your clutch. Thought maybe you decided you didn't have a hundred bucks to lose. <laughs> what could I say? It's huh? a lot of bread. I'm the man, and I got another hundred bucks that says you get smoked. I'll tell you what. For two hundred bucks, we run the pier, suicide course. Man, look, you didn't say nothing about running no suicide course, all right? Let's just run it straight, okay? You, you know, that, that's okay, you know. You, you guys do what you want. But when you're ready for big time, just, just let me know, all right? Hey, chump. Come on. Suicide? Let's do it. Okay. Gimp, you hold the money. Brooke, you wait over here where it's safe, okay? You guys get the cars, okay? Uh, my name's Clyde. this stupid rule get started anyway? Well, I'm not sure, but it goes a long way in making sure that losers don't take off without paying. Most of all, it's supposed to stop your buddy there from crowding me under the pier. Just cool down. Thank you. Thank you. I won. Smile. He dragged me across the parking lot in front of the whole school. Come on, even if I had a drag, you which I didn't, it's still better than riding with a bunch of hippies. They're not hippies. You don't know anything. They were really nice, Mom. Do you think you can pick my friends for me? Alice Kay, calm down. Well, just because, just because he likes living on a sheep farm. All right, that's enough. I'm sure you've got homework, and then I could use your help with the dinner. I'm not hungry. Would you two please go wash up? She's OK. That was just a little problem after school. She'll get over it. How is the school? Oh, 
It's okay, I guess. It's so big. There's more students there than there are in people in the whole town of Cokeville. You miss it already, don't you? Well, you know, I... Oh, I checked with the job placement officer at the school, and they don't give me any hope for anything after school or weekends. I checked with about five other places, but... Adam, I want you to know how much... It's all right, Mom. Look, even before Dad died, I knew what my responsibilities would be. I told you then. Don't you remember? Everything's gonna be okay. Really. How could anyone resist giving you a job? Every go-fast kid in the high school wants a job here. Mostly so they can work on their cars with my tools. Can't get you darn kids to do an honest man's work anymore. Just ain't worth it. I need the job, sir. Look, I grew up on a ranch in Wyoming. I've been fixing up things all my life. And I ain't just scared to work. Just give me a chance to prove myself. No kids ever come in here to prove themselves. You kids is all the same. All excited at first, and then... Nothing. There are no jobs at this station for teenage kids. Period. Bless Katie and hope that I'll be good and we can have a TV. Hope that I won't have no bad dreams when I hear the cats outside. Bless our daddy up in heaven and mommy and Alice Kay and Catherine and David and help Evan to find a job and pray with Jesus Christ, amen. Hey, sorry, man. I'm closing. Pump's off already. Yeah, well, Stoney's not here? No, man. He going home about 8 o'clock. He'll be back tomorrow. Hey, what's the story, man? Don't worry. It, it's okay. He kind of hired me to clean up tonight. That's funny. He don't say nothing to me about cleaning up. I'm closing. You're gonna lock up, okay? Yeah, go ahead. I'll lock up as soon as I get done with Stony Water done. You could be in a heap of trouble for what you've done here last night. 
I told you I didn't want no kids working here, didn't I? Yes, sir. Can you drive a tow truck as well as your bamboozled Ignacio? Well, yes, sir. And I'll be gold to the grave if you ain't got yourself a job with Mr. Berlin Stone Esquire. Put her there! Yeah, well, I've got to get this done. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot more to life than my old man's reference library, you know. Mm. Like me. Well, I've got to get this done. Don't you take anything seriously? Only you. Enough, okay? Come on, the daddy's out of town. The old lady's gone away. Come on. I've got to go now, Clutch. Please let me go. Wait a minute. What, what, wait, what for? You know, I don't understand this. You know, we've been going together for six months. Yeah, well, I want to go now. Wait a minute. Wait. What is this? Come here. And you're supposed to be my girlfriend? I'm not your anything. Brooke, come here. Brooke, get out of the car and talk. No, take me home. No, no, I'm not taking you anywhere when you're talking. I'll... Take me no. home. No, Brooke, I got the keys. Get out of the car. Oh, no, you don't. Brooke, don't lock that door, Brooke. <laughs> Honey, come on. I, I, was, I was only joking. Come on, we'll just go inside and we'll just talk. Okay. Right. Don't start the car, Brooke. Brooke! Brooke, you don't know how to drive a clutch. Oh, now, I'll look. Okay. Brooke, come on, just take the keys out. Brooke, I just had a new clutch put in. Stop the car, Brooke. Come on, I was only joking with you. Stop the car. Stop the car. Brooke, stop. Stop the car. Are you all right? Yeah. Good. You look perfectly natural. <laughs> Could you pull it out of here now? We have a funeral in progress. This sort of thing is so upsetting to the families, you know. A final goodbye in a fish pond with a truck is most unseemly. I can handle it. I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. Hook it up to something and move it. You can handle it. <laughs> Excuse me, but the gentleman here says that you won't be able to park here for long, ma'am. That's not funny. I don't know what I'd have done if... <sighs> but I do know that Clyde Turner is going to kill me. Yeah, maybe not. Barely scratched, a little dirt, maybe. I'll help you clean it out. Thanks. <sighs> Could you uh, <laughs> move it now? 
Here, you want to sign this, please? Sign. Stand. What? What? Uh, that. Well, that's the bill. Bill. Bill? Well, you said to pull it out, you get the bill. It says right there on the truck. But hey, you. about being cool anyway. Well, I know enough not to run around with a bunch of stoneheads. Why don't you mind your own business? Mom, you tell me to quit running my life. Look, even Beaner knows what... Beaner's a dork. Everybody says that. What does he know? Well, I don't think you ought to be hanging around him, Alice Kay. You're not the boss of me. What, do you think? You're my dad or something? I know what I'm doing. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Guess who I found? Huh? No, not you. Bust. Really? Where'd you find him? Been living under the front seat of my truck. <laughs> Hi, Buster. I really appreciate this. Hey, I got a chance for that scholarship now. Hey, that's great. Adam, I got an idea. Can you read those things for lunch, dork? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm only joking. How you doing? Okay. Hey, listen. A few of the guys are getting together tonight. To Raise a little hell, tip a few, whatever. Why don't you come with us? I'm probably working. Working? Oh, man, what are you working for? Hey, listen, it'll be pretty late. What time you get off? No, I'm not sure yet. Time hasn't been set. Uh, hold on a sec. Hey, Jan. Uh, let me see, okay? Tonight it's cool, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't think he's gonna suck her into it, man. No. Uh, well... We'll get him. One way or another, we'll get him. Hey, 
Hey, Brooke. Clutch, I'm sorry about yesterday. Hey, no problem, lady. Back off. Hey, listen, honey. A few of the guys are getting together for a little fun tonight. Why don't you join us? Oh, I, I don't know. What are you going to do? Oh, it's the greatest prank. Oh, it's, it's totally harmless. Oh, we, we even invited that new kid. What's his name? You know, the, the, the farmer dude? Adam Cummings? Yeah, yeah. Cummings will be there. Hey, he, he's really a pretty neat dude, huh? Well, you know, I don't know him that well. Mm. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. What time? Oh, it, it'll be later. I'll, I'll pick you up, huh? Okay. Just five bucks wood. Hey, listen, what what time you get off tonight? I think I'll pass tonight. Hey, come on. We're gonna have a good time. There'll be a bunch of guys there. A few chicks. Brooke will be there. I think no one girl will be there. Yeah. There's gonna be plenty of chicks. Well, I gotta lock up tonight. Be ten or so before I'm finished. Well, hey, t tent's perfect. Hey, look, we'll be here then, okay? Hey, listen, that, that thing run over there? Yeah. Well, w listen, with, with Brooke and the girls, we may need some extra wheels, okay? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll see you at 10, right? Yeah, okay, I guess. Thanks for the gas. Beaner, how's it going? Hey, Adam. I qualified for the scholarship. Hey, that's great. I'm happy for you. I named my new frog after you. Can I give you hand cleaning up? Your new frog? Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. Uh, hey, I'm closing now, and I, I think I'll go with Clyde tonight. Say, why don't you come along? No. Just as well. Hey, we'll have a good time. Okay for you to truck? To the truck. Come on, Beaner, why don't you come along with us? Nah, I gotta work on the experiment. Oh, come on. Thanks anyway. See you later. You don't want to come along. Nah. Friday. Wrong. Tomorrow is the day we are to conduct ourselves in a manner befitting the dignity of our noble... Oh, parent-teacher day. Oh, no. Clyde, I'm not sure. That's Miss Pinkle's most sacred moment. Listen, it's beautiful. Okay, now, fixing the john will be a little tough, but everything else will be easy. And tomorrow, when the parents and teachers arrive, everybody is going to know that we just love Miss Pinkle the best.
Okay, get out. Be really quiet. Get on up there. You always do things like this as Budge? Well, okay, not Jennifer, often. He Jen, comes up with some cute Jen ideas, there. though. Oh, <laughs> <Jennifer>. <laughs> okay, come on, we get some good play in here. He's nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> Slammer, this is your big moment. Okay, take the girls home. We'll meet you later, okay? <laughs> yeah, really. Bye, Kirk. Here, here, help me. What is it? Just come here. I want to put it inside on there. I, I got to make sure that the cement is set. Yeah, just put it right inside on the lid there. Just tape it on the right lid. There? Yeah, you got right it. Right there. Right there. Hurry up. There you go. You got it. Hey, come on, you guys. <laughs> hey, come on now. This isn't funny. Yeah. Come on now. Cut! to hear about this. No, oh, no. Well, you have been wanting an office with better ventilation. <laughs> no, that's not funny. This is outrageous. It is outrageous. Well, get it down. Can, can you move it out of here, Ralph? All right. All right, the, the, the fun is over. This is a very sick joke. Insulting and degrading. Yes, it is. It's insulting and degrading. Now, go back to class. We don't want any trouble, do we? Yeah, this is insulting and degrading. <laughs> now, your, your, your parents are coming here today. The students responsible for this will be disciplined. Now, go back to class, please. Mr. Fielding, I demand that you do something. There happens to be somebody locked inside. There's somebody inside. Why? Gotta be kidding.
back to class. Coming. I want to see you in my office. Adam, I didn't know. What are you doing here before school? Stone, I want you to help me put an engine in my truck. An engine? I thought you was just going to fix it up on the outside. Yeah. Well, it's what's on the inside that counts, right? <laughs> just what kind of engine you're thinking about? Well, I want it to be faster than anything around. Hey, now that's fast. Just who you're going to burn up? Can you? I never did pay you for working all night cleaning up. about that turkey. Took me two weeks to talk her into going to a driving, but she's going. Five bucks says tonight's the night. Dad with a favorite music you want to hear more about it later, but right now, Dad with more big music. Philip. Lately. Yeah, well, I've been working. Unleaded? Yes. Beaner said you were. Check your oil? No, it's all right. Adam, I didn't have any idea about the other night. You shouldn't take the blame yourself. Pull that up, I'll catch you. No, it, it's okay. Adam. You don't believe me, do you? Should I? 
Yes, you should. Yeah, well, I believe you. Did you find my watch? No, I never did find it. I'll check with Stoney. Thanks. Mellow Rock from L.A. Scream, Mellow Station, and you got Marshall here with all the music. Tonight's midnight concert spotlights the incredible Halloween. Be here for it. to cut a few holes in the firewall to get it all in when we replace the new engine. But once we do... Hey, Peter, how's it going? Hey, Adam. I'm glad I caught you before you locked up. I heard some things at school. And, well, I thought I'd better tell you what Sludge said about your sister. He's planning on taking her to the drive-in tonight. And, uh, well, you know. No, I'm sorry. She isn't home right now. She went over to a friend's to do homework. May I tell her who called? No, that's okay. Just a friend from school, that's all. Goodbye. You want to go to the movies? They just don't understand. You are old enough to make your own decisions. You don't have to listen to them. I have finished. I haven't done anything my old lady told me since I was 12. I don't know. Stop worrying about the time. Right. Come on now. Well, I mean, I wait all week just to get five I minutes alone with you, and all you want to do is talk about the time? Did what did you do? Who did you see? You held me four you know, ago. When you send me home from I have feelings trip, too. You call us fools. When you send me home. There they are. Right there. I mean... I have never you felt this way about a girl before. What did you find, Linda? Ever. 
You ever go messing around her again? Don't you talk to her? Don't you touch her? Don't you even look at her ever? Hey! What about my car, man? Huh? What about my car? There's no charge for the toll. We're even. Sorry, maybe that wasn't the best way to handle it. She said, Adam, I'm in so dumb. So dumb. Look, everything's okay now, huh? It's been a long time since you had a talk with Mom. Let me good night, huh? Adam, thank you. You're the neatest brother. I love you. trying to tell you, but you're so... Well, if you didn't do anything, why are you asking for forgiveness? Hey, I'm having a party at my house tomorrow night. I'd like you to come. Well, I work tomorrow. Come later, after work. Well, maybe. See you later, okay? Okay. Hey, Brooke. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Is he, is he still ticked off? He's weird, man. Hey, girl, what's happening with us? Do 
What's the matter? You, you act like it was you we locked in that outhouse. Can, can I still come to your party? You're invited. Hey, hey, look, Brooke, if he can't take a joke, I'd like to see him do something about it. I'd like to see him try. Hey, Clyde. I want to talk to you, man. Hey, yeah, look, what's up? I got an idea. Place closed or something? I don't know. You you're sure he's the only one here, right? Yeah, he's gotta be. Hey, come on, boy. The same Wyoming, you gotta move. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, partner. Feel it? Yeah, uh, unleaded. Uh, I just wasted. Okay. Listen, you uh think you can check the oil for me? <laughs> hey, the tires, man. Will, will you check the tires? And now, now, uh, you mind checking the other two? Yeah, there's two on the other side, you know. <laughs> no, no. Okay, just gonna check the hands. Okay. Just move out the place, don't make slaves. That'll be 36 cents. <laughs> hey, you get, come on, you guys. Give me some money. I got some. I got some. Here, here. Come on. Here, here. Yeah. Oh, that's all I got, man. I got a nickel. Six cents. Hey, all right, Jackson. Oh. Hey, you, do me another favor and just check the windows, man. I'd appreciate it. Down here. <laughs> oh, what? You ripped my blade? You need new blades. Yeah, see, let's get him. Let's get him. Hey, it's Tony. What's happening? Have a good day now. Hey, Adam. I'd like to be there when you put them off the highway. Somehow it doesn't seem important anymore. After he did what he did to you? What do you talk? You're darn right it's important. Look, you're going to shove your tailpipe right down his throat. Well, I wanted to. I kind of feel sorry for him now. Sorry? Are you crazy? Who's going to teach him a lesson if you don't? Now, come on, get inside and help me finish this thing. Adam yet? You mean he's not here yet? 
No. But the garage closed two hours ago. Oh, well, come on. The food's great. Come on, Bina, please. <laughs> Hey, with the frog man. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of food here and everything. Punch, just make yourself comfortable, okay? Okay. Okay, hostess. We've waited long enough. It is now my pleasure. You're so crazy. Seriously, Brooklyn. Would you please dance with me? Sure. <laughs> Just a minute, Clyde, okay? Hey, Beater, how's it going? Where have you been? Oh, nowhere in particular. How's the dance? It's all right. You dance yet? No. Well, how's it going? Well, better late than never. Did you get anything to eat? Was there anything left? Oh, well, yeah. Plenty there, thanks. Come and dance with me. I can't do that. Oh, it's easy. Come oh, on. No, I don't think yeah. I'll <laughs> This I've got to see.
you. That was great. You're really good. Uh, Brooke, could you come and help me for a minute, please? Oh, sure, Mom. Excuse me. Um, why don't you get some punch? I'll be right back, okay? Come on, Bean. Hey, uh, Sludge, didn't you want some punch? Oh, yeah, man, I'm really thirsty. Gimp? Yeah, me too. It's hot out here, man. Want some punch, Peter? No. <laughs> Yeah. Anybody got some soap? It's pretty sticky, man. No soap. Hey, man. It's all yours. Go, Peter! Peter! Oh, you can have one. Oh, I you want to get serious? Oh, stop it! Stop it! I mean it! Stop it! Stop it. Hey, let him go! Hey, let him go! Oh, I said leave it! Leave it! Okay, big man. Then it's you. You guys get on out of here. The party's over. Go on! Come on, man. Let's get out of here. Go on, I mean it. Go on. Hey, did you see the look on Venus' face when he came out of the anyway. pool? Can you believe that? I can't believe that. Hey, look. What? Sludge, go get the car. Hey, I don't know, Clyde. Mom, we'll get this. What's uh, wrong with them? I'm sorry. I don't know why those guys are like that. It was a great party, really. That's okay. We'll take care of this. Are you all right? Yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks for the party. Thanks. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, dear. You're sure you're okay? You're crazy. That guy was twice your size. Why'd you do it, Beaner? Hey, you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Where's my glasses? Oh, here they are, Beaner. Hey, you better be taking off and put something on that. I wonder if lip cells regenerate after destruction by compression. Hey, Beaner, come on out here. Hey, should I call the police? No, forget it. Hey, leave it, Bean. I'll take care of it. Stoney and I will get it straightened out for you, okay? Don't worry about it. Beaner, I'm so sorry. Hey, I can take you home, okay? No, I can take him. He lives right near me. Bean? You help Brooke clean up. Hey. I'll take your scooter down the garage. And Bean? Thanks.
vacuum the rest of this up tomorrow. It'll be all right. I really appreciate your help. I can't believe how totally out of it those guys were tonight. I really should be going. Um, no, just a second. I've got to do a few things in the kitchen. I'll be right back. I didn't know you were there. I didn't know you played the piano. You're really good. I used to play quite a bit before. Before Dad died and we came out here. See, Mom was from here originally and uh, she played all her life. What are you thinking about? No, it's nothing really. Yes, you were to tell me. When I was little, Mom used to always tell me I had to practice because, because she said if I was going to be a farmer, I was going to be a cultured farmer. But what she really wanted is for me to be able to go to the big city and fit right in. And that used to drive Dad crazy. Because, you know, he's born and raised right there in Lincoln County. Did he play? No, but he could pick a mean banjo. But he was a sheep farmer through and through and proud of it. Yeah, he and Mom made quite a combination. I think you're nice. mutated by the race. They were very impressed. Stanford University. Ever since I was little, I, I've always wanted to go to Stanford. Hey, that's great. Let's go celebrate. Let's go. Let's go.
second star was that? Yeah, man. You want to try again? She's beat to death, Bina. It ain't worth fixing for all the new parts. It'd be cheaper to get another one. Bina got the Stanford scholarship. You did? That's great, man. That's really fine. I'm afraid you're gonna have to be walking, though. Man, I did everything I could. But it just ain't gonna make it. It's all right. Maybe you can get smart enough at that Stanford school to figure out how uh, I can wrap this around Clyde Turner's neck. <laughs> oh, well, that would be cute. Speaking of the devil. Dude, that was too cool, man. I mean, that was too cool. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you. You all do one. Hey, listen, you guys gotta tell me what you put under this hood, man. Adam, you mind if I take a look? I mind. I mind. And what's more, I've got a hundred bucks that says he'll suck that yellow milk wagon of yours right up the exhaust. <laughs> you bet, you race, then you look. I'll tell you what, Stone. You pick the time, I pick the place, and you gotta bet. You got it! When? Right now! Place? Suicide Beach. <laughs> Adam, don't do it. That's crazy. It ain't crazy if this turkey here is as fast as my man Stoney here says it is. Of course, if it isn't, then it's crazy, huh? <laughs> Come on, Adam. Adam? Hundred bucks, huh? Adam, you don't have to do this. You got it. Tell you what. You lose. You replace Beaner's scooter. His choice. Hey, I don't need it that badly. And Stoney holds your pink slip to make sure. All right. All right, a, a new bike for Beaner if I lose. Oh, you guys, this is crazy. Let's go. We start from a dead start, and we run suicide rules. What does that mean? Okay, now here's the pier, and here's the two barrels, and here's the blue boat. We start here, we go under the pier, around the two barrels, back on course, under the pier, around the blue boat, up the levee, 
across, down, and the first one through Dead Man's Hole wins the race. Beaner, you'll ride with me. Where's Dead Man's Hole? It's right there. Adam, you got that? Hey, come on, Adam, what are you doing? Hey, Adam, if you don't hurry up, the tide's gonna come in and wash away the course. Let's go! Don't do it, Adam. Please don't do it. It's not worth it, Adam. Please. It's not right. Adam, let's go! Adam, don't do it. Since you're taking us out to dinner, it's gonna be a steak okay. dinner. Okay. Is it a deal? Adam, please, yeah. don't do it. It's ridiculous. Let's go. So. Okay, Peter, you'll be riding with me. Now remember what I told you. Hang in there. Okay, buddy. Good luck. Now you know what you have to do. Go to it, Adam. Remember, he's going to be on the inside. Don't let him crowd you in. Just hold loose, be free. Okay, Peter. You hold my money. Keep me honest. But you, you ain't going to have it that long. Hey, where's your seatbelts, man? I mean, you ain't got no seatbelts, no roll bar in this death trap. What, are you crazy or something? Yeah. Hey, look, rules are to get out. I don't want the responsibility. Tell Beaner to get out, too. Well, you may need this. You don't want me in there, man. It says turn Beaner loose, too. Hey, no way, Adam. Beaner, get out. Hey, it's my race, too. Hey, 
my truck and go get help. I think he's stuck. Hey, I, I'll, I'll go find a tow truck. Hold Hurry. on, Bean. Just hang on. Okay, Hurry. Your van. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get you out, Bean. Hey, come on. Keep your head up. Don't hey. worry. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come on, Bina. We'll get you out here in a minute. Bina, you're going to be okay. Hurry! Try to put this thing back. Hey, your truck won't start. I guess the race caused... Hey, hey how, how far is the next station? It's got to be at least two or three miles. It's too far to walk. The kite's coming in too fast. Clyde, you got a rope? Yeah, there's one in the back of my van. You'll be okay, Beaner. Okay. There's a rope. <laughs> Get something to get him warm. Just hang on, Beaner. Sorry, is Adam there? Yeah, he went to go get the truck. Keep it up, Peter. Hey, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Extremely grateful. Come on, Peter. Maybe we can turn it over. It'll be all right. You guys Come on, let's go. Just bring the 
through this hole. Where's that truck? Come on, Adam. get his scooter, and I'd found friends in California after all. I discovered more than a friendship with a young lady. I know now that I'll stay in California. I have memories here, and a future. But I also know that there's just enough of my dad in me to go back to Wyoming someday. But only someday. <laughs> <laughs> 